I know a lot of you guys were waiting on it. Baby Blue is here. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 16 mods for you. For all platforms, we've got 5 new and 4 updates. And for PC and Mac, we've got 3 new and 4 updates. Let's check it out. Starting with new mods for all platforms today, first we have the New Holland T4, also known as Baby Blue. This is a small tractor from the New Holland brand. Starting price is going to be $65,000. Top speed in kilometers is 43. We'll find out what that is in miles per hour. We've got multiple different engine options, multiple different tire options, multiple different options, <laughs> period. All kinds of crazy stuff. Plus, you can put a front loader on it, the front lift, and doors that open. Very cool. Let's jump and check it out. Where are you going to find this? This is going to be found in vehicles. It's going to be found in small tractors. And here we are on the left-hand side for $65,000. Let's jump in and see. Top speed is going to be 24 miles per hour on this bad boy. Configurations, we have standard, front hydraulic, and back to standard. Again, very cool to see a small tractor like this with a front three-point. That's awesome. Designs, we have left beacon, right beacon, both beacons and then back to left beacon again engine setups we've got multiple so sit back relax and hang tight we have the t455 it's going to give you 55 horsepower the 65 65 horsepower 75 guess how much horsepower that is the 85 uh oh 95 105 115 so multiple different engine setups there all ranging from 55 horsepower up to 115 horsepower so double the original horsepower may not seem like a lot but that's quite a bit Front loader, yes or no, that's going to be your in-game stole version. Use the smaller stole and change that to onyx color. That's going to be what that is. Wheel setups here. We have three of them. We have standard, wide tires. We have narrow tires and back to standard again. No weights on this bad boy right here. If you need to wait, just pop one on the back three-point cover. We have with vendors, with front vendors with the Italian flag. Is New Holland Italian? Oh, okay. And, uh without and with so with front fenders without front fenders with the italian flag without the italian flag otherwise that is it that is your mod right there very cool i'm digging this sounds pretty good as well i know a lot of you guys bug me to hear these so here you go Next up, we have the SIP Spider 354 ALP. This is a white bull modding mod, so you know it's going to be a good one. It's a smaller tether for turning fresh cut grass over and to dry the hay or dry into hay. Suitable for smaller tractors with low horsepower. Speaking of, needed horsepower, 50 horsepower. Funny enough, I put it on the back of that, bringing it over here. <laughs> and it weighed it down a little bit. It was cracking me up. It was hilarious because this is an itty bitty little bitty tire. 3.5 meter price 5500 bucks maintenance five bucks per day let's jump in and check it out let's go into tools let's go into here and we don't have to go far there it is the sip spider 354 alp 5500 bucks um the interesting thing is here it says 25 horsepower so i don't know if it needs 50 i don't know if it needs 25 either way i'm low horsepower <laughs> regardless i don't think you're gonna find anything lower than that so that's it. No customization. It is what it is. It folds up nice and neat, unfolds nice and neat. Everything works. It doesn't just fold up magically. The hydraulics, they actually, you can see them and it's really cool. Next, we've got something a little bit bigger and a little bit more power hungry. This is the Pottinger Teradisc 10001T. Price is going to be $60,000. Max working speed, 18 kilometers per hour. We'll take a look at the mile per hour. Required power, 350 horsepower working with 10 meter. This is specifically or specially designed to perform surface stubble. Quit putting that stuff in. It's a, it's a disc harrow. No. Let's go in and check it out. It's not special. None of them are. Let's go into disc arrows and we're going to find it pretty early on. If I remember correctly, did I pass it? Nope, I haven't passed it yet. There it is. Yeah, the Pondra Terror Disc 10,001. I'm in a great mood today. Let's go up and check it out. Oop, no customization. Goes 11 miles per hour. Nothing crazy about this at all. Uh, 10 meters, 11 miles per hour. 
350 horsepower. That's a little bit power hungry. It's a little bit high. Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is the Sack Potato Palette. This is a potato bag palette, and it is going to be $460. You can also buy these in single bags as well. Those are $90 capacity for these, $50 per bag. If you see three bags, well, on that palette, it's 150 liters. So nothing crazy, but it's good. Uh, these are perfect for filling up a trailer or a planter, as well as for feeding to pigs. So let's jump in, check it out. Let's go over to objects. Let's go into pallets. And in here, we're gonna find lots and lots of different things. Here, we're going to find well, one of the things. Now, I gotta be honest with you, I haven't even looked for the uh, potato bag yet, but the potato bag palette, right here it is. Zoom, 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 460 bucks for this. Uh, divide that into three. I'm guessing that's going to be what the uh, what the bag is. Yep, there you go. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, it is a potato bag. Now, if we jump in, if we go into big bags. This is where I would assume we would find it. Yep, there it is. $90 potato bag, 50 liters, 90, 9, 18, 27. So it is cheaper to buy these per bag than it is to buy them per pallet. Pallet's 460 bucks, now it's $270 if you buy three of these. Mmm, interesting. Nonetheless, there you go, very cool. This is modeled very nicely, by the way. Uh, model is um, MM's Mods, something like that, MM's Mods. Um, you did a really good job on this if you're watching. These are phenomenal. And your last new mod for all platforms today is the Pick Bottles. I don't understand what that means at all. Um, This won't stay up. I can pick it up, but it boop. And it just leans against everything. I can't. Oh, can't get it to. Oh, look at that. Stayed. Of course, it's backwards. Um, let's jump in and check this out. What is it? It's a three-point bell spike is all it is. Let's go into tools. Let's go into bailing technology. And here we are on the left-hand side, the lizard pick bottles. Why is it called a pick bottle? I don't even understand. So it's a weight helps keep a tractor's wheels on the ground. Of course it does. It improves its balance. You know, or you could say, you know, bell spike helps to move bells. Either way. Either way. So this bad boy right here, no customization, 500 bucks. Seems like a lot for what it is. I'd say three-point bell spike that's all it is moving into mod updates for all platforms first we have the flat map change log 2 new version of flat map map or previously saves will not operate correctly so you're going to need a new game save for this one 24 textures for planting the area all buildings have been removed from the map and have been added as placeable versions which is cool Unfortunately, due to the game restrictions, the machine and animal shop had to remain permanently on the map and move to a different location. A lot of new facilities, two BGAs, two sawmills, etc. 14 objects in total in the farmhouses category. Field numbers have been removed. No transport missions due to the lack of permanent buildings. 100% of the terrain outside of the map edges game restrictions can be modified and painted and there's a new background. And an update to the Grimmy GL430. We just got an update to this a few days ago. However, today, changelog 1.1.0.1 hotfix, no flying hoses anymore. Next to last mod update for all platforms, the Grain Garage, changelog 1.001. Snow has been repaired. And your last update for all platforms today, the Slurry Dealer Pack, change log 1.6. Fix the issue with collisions. Moving into new mods for PC and Mac players today. First, we have the SK5 Neva Pack. This is a self-propelled combine harvester produced in a USSR by the Rosslamash. This is a 1971 combine. Very cool, very good looking as well. Um, This hooks up in the back. This looks to be a, a pipe, but I can't figure out how to open pipe. Maybe you've got to put the right com the header the, there's a lot to this so why don't we jump in and check it out so the first thing we're going to want to do is we want to go into vehicles we want to go into harvesters and in here we're going to find the combine itself so this oop, yep there it is right there Boop. so this is our combine rim color we could change that up a few different things main color again main a couple different reds um decals you could change those from red or uh white to yellow and then the cabin color you could change that up as well you could make this uh not whatever color you want but make it some different reds number selection you've got no numbers a one two three stuff like that's going to be on the front of the combine there does look pretty good uh trail device so you've got no trailer device or standard you also have the under pun and then no trailer device back there then year of issue 1972 
1994, not a whole lot's changed. <laughs> So between those two right there, it's not going to cost you anything extra. Equipment stacked up, you have standard Chopper Pun 5 and the Stagger 54 8B. Yeah, there's no difference in these. They're all just drop straw. I thought this might be a baler of some sort. Nope, nope, they all just drop straw. So, um, <laughs> aesthetics only. Um, and then the windows lattice, we have no or yes, depending on, you know, what you think bad's going to happen. Uh, that's going to be great for sun, by the way, and you'll be able to still see mostly out. Kind of like some blinds. And the shields, yes or no, that's going to cover up all your uh, all your, your uh, fun bits down there that move and groove. So, that is that. And we have this guy right here. The SK5 Pipe Pun 5. Main color, you can match that. Six miles per hour says this machine can harvest the indicated fruit crops, which I believe... See the straw or grass? What is that? That's straw, isn't it? Yep, that's definitely straw. So, very cool there. Then we get multiple different uh, setups. So, we're going to jump over to headers. And in here, we're going to find quite a few different things. I believe there's four total in here. Four or five. Something like that. So, if we keep going through. Yeah, and I like to show you guys this, at least for PC, if you're like me. You probably got a bunch of stuff installed. Here we go. The Ross Smash ZHZE4. This is going to be a uh, header. Now, all of these have the same combinations, that kind of thing. So, your ZH, ZE, 4, and 5, 4 meter and 5 meter, respectively. I don't know why you would need a 4, just get the 5 meter. Um, main colors, extensions, you could put extensions on there. Shields, yes or no. You can let that match up. And then our real Reapers, you've got the real one, real one with bars, real two, two with bars. Back to one. So whatever you like there, go for it. They all look really good. The modder's done a fantastic job with this. And then we get sunflower headers as well. Again, a four and a five meter. Again, don't know why you would uh don't know why you would not get the five meter, but there you go. Maybe if you want to get the four meter, give yourself an upgrade spot. You could do that. And we get a normal header right here as well. This does only uh sunflowers. Now I haven't checked to see in corn headers if there's anything, so we're gonna find out this together. Um by the look of it, yes, we have one and this is a chopper this is a forge headers attached to that looks to be a forge header that's interesting very cool all right main color change it up make it match do all your good stuff there um that is interesting very very interesting i like that that's pretty cool and then we also get if we go into header trailers we get a trailer for this one as well really fun and there we go there it is the Russell mash cutter trailer there it is main color we get some little bitty duels on the back right there too main color change that up decals rim color you can make everything match up with your combine but this this is kind of neat next to last new mod for pc and mac today is the consume comet vvt 32 this is a 3.5 meter disc arrow it's pretty cute looks good at least so there's that let's jump in let's go into tools let's go into disc arrows and in here we are going to find Consum Com. Did I pass it already? Nope. I keep thinking I have. There it is right there. Uh, the VVT 32. Boom. 130 horsepower required. 3.5 meters. 10 miles per hour. No customization is what it is. The unfold is very interesting because it just moves the wheels from a little bit of a forward motion to a little bit of a backward motion, but doesn't clip anything. It's interesting. There you go. There's your comments of comment VVT32. And your last new mod for PC and Mac players today is the Crow's Sound Fix. This is a fix for the missing wildlife Crow's Sound. Yeah, I'm not going to be downloading this because <laughs> get out of here, birds. You know, that whole thing. But uh, this is neat anyway if you guys want to um, change up everything. If you want to be able to hear the from the crows, go for it. Making our way into mod updates for PC and Mac players. First, we have the HTZ 17-221-21. Wow, what a name there. Change the hook 1.003. Added animations of the front axle. Remove the wheel collisions. New specular body and wheels. Added animations of PTO shaft. Added the GPS navigator. Support for the guidance steering script. And minor fixes and improvements all around. We've got an update to the real dirt fix. Change log 1.1 bug fix. The tire tracks now work. And an update to the KBM 8PS, added free running of the arms cultivator, new main wheels, new specular body wheels, and minor fixes and improvements. And your last mod update and mod today, the Real Shovel. Change log 1.1, fix incompatibility with Seasons mod save game with Real Shovel did not start after removed. Fix error for shovel mods which have configurable capacity. Settings mod now appears for bucket attached through the front loader 
attached to detractor. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the GoHam fam, make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss anything here on the channel. Whether it's new mods, farm sim news, let's plays, live streams, we've got it all. All being said, I hope you have a great day and we will see you later. Peace!